Okay, so you're watching this video because you're wanting to know what is best to go for, especially when it comes to your budget to the newer GPU out there on the market. Now, let's say your budget is $300 and there's two GPUs that are under that budget that are newer and can probably last at least a few years before upgrading to a new GPU. So that leaves you with the RTX 4060, the Radeon RX 7600, basically having it as NVIDIA versus AMD in this situation. Now, I'm not going to reveal the pricing of these cards yet. I'm going to save that at the end of the video because I'm going to go through all the stats and the benchmarks you can expect when it comes to gaming with these GPUs. Because this is mostly for people that are wanting to get GPUs that will last them longer and basically has good performance when it comes to your gaming experience. Now, I'm going to show you some screenshots of some benchmarks of some titles that are really well known or just titles that do have a high demand when it comes to your graphics power. So, blue is going to be obviously the 7600 and gray is the RTX 4060. Now, you can clearly see with the first batch of titles the Radeon does beat the RTX 4060 by a few frames, which is actually not too bad at all. And this is all at ultra settings or max settings at 1080p. And the fact that you actually have this experience is insane. Now, looking at something like Elden Ring, which is a really well-known title, and of course, you might be wanting to play that title because you have the all-new DLC that recently came out not too long ago. And basically, they're both able to do close to at least 70 frames or even exactly as 70 frames at 1080p. Now, if we go to, let's say, 1440p, which is obviously a bit more higher demanding in terms of getting better graphics, it's very interesting to see how close these two cars are actually compared to each other. Now, that one advantage that the RTX 4060 does have against the Radeon RX 7600 is that, well, it uses about lit uses about 20 watts less than the 7600, which is actually pretty good. But in terms of what you're going to be experiencing when it comes to gaming performance, the Radeon does look very strong in terms of giving a better gaming experience than the RTX 4060 does. Now, time to reveal the pricing between these cards. Now, the most expensive card of these two cards is obviously the RTX 4060, which is priced at, well, around about $300, depending on where you're going to get your card from. When you look at the Radeon RX 7600, it's actually really interesting to see that it is $60 cheaper and it's priced around about $240 depending on which market you'll be getting this card from. That's actually a big thing to look at because of course, everyone wants to be able to save money in terms of building a decent gaming PC that can allow you to play titles at good frames and just gives you a good experience in terms of gaming. But I'll definitely say if you are in the market for a budget gaming setup and you're wanting to get a good GPU that will basically allow you to have good gaming experience. I would actually recommend the Radeon RX 7600 because of course it does give you more for gaming performance and it's a lot cheaper, but of course it's your choice. If you want to go for the RTX 4060, you can do so in terms of doing basically work stuff in terms of rendering and so much more, but it's all dependent on what you are going to go for. But let me know in the comments below of any other GPUs you want me to compare it to and give you some stats of benchmarks that you can expect. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.